Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Bits to Billions. It's 7 a.m. on a Friday morning in Bengaluru. We're in a setting that's very unlikely for a startup, unusual, lots and lots of trucks as you can see and we have a startup right here that's trying to simplify trucking for India. Rajesh Yabaji, the co-founder and CEO of Black Puck, which became a unicorn recently. Thank you very much for joining us on Bits to Billions. So as I said, what Black Puck tries to do is it tries to match demand and supply when it comes to uh, truckers and shippers across India. Um, Rajesh, you know, did you spend the first few years of Black Puck just in locations like this, hitting up truck operators, fleet operators, asking them if they want to come on your platform? What was it like in the beginning? Yeah. First of all, thanks Chandra for having us over uh, the show. So I think, uh, you know, while, while I was just driving into this truck terminal today morning, so Bangalore is where we started back in like, the groundwork started in 2014, the company was founded in 2015. Uh, so this was the first truck terminal, which was our adda. So almost all the lanes I would have definitely had chai over here. All the lanes that have some of the other meals. Because uh, coming here, like you throw stone, you'll either have a transporter, a truck operator, a shipper, you'll get everybody over here. So yeah, so I think uh, even today, I think, you know, because we're present right now almost in all the districts acro across the country. So, um, you know, even today, these zones are our like farming zones. So we get into this and we, you know, go truck by truck, sign up people you know, help them understand our services, onboard them and help them like have a good life using Black Buck. Yeah. Right. So how many truckers now technically on the Black Buck platform and how many clients do these, you know, truckers yeah. service? So roughly we have about, uh, you know, about over 1 million truck operators who transact with us on a monthly basis. And uh, like we have about roughly 45,000 shippers all across the country, big companies, small companies, which request for a load on the platform and, and get their uh, you know, trucking requirement fulfilled. Yeah. Right. So when you talk about these companies, 45,000 companies, so these would be what FMCG companies or yeah. automakers, so, which, which sectors? Yeah. So basically, uh, we like we do, we do two, like within shippers, there are two kinds of shippers. I think the names you took are the enterprise shippers mm. and then the small and medium scale enterprises. Right? Mm. Under enterprise shippers, there are FMCG companies, there are chemical companies, there are infrastructure companies. So every sector, which is hmm. basically transportation dependent, uses our services. On the SME side, that's interesting because enterprise shippers probably would be about 200 and 230, roughly that would be the number range. Rest all, the 45,000 are literally the, you know, SMEs of the country, the, you know, traders, you know, the wheat traders, the rice millers, hmm. uh, a mandi agricultural trader, a transporter, you know, out there who wants a truck to sort of ship excess goods, whatever he has. So those are the entire 45,000. So it's a mix of anyone who wants to find a truck, comes to the Black Buck platform, posts his requirement and gets a truck and gets its service fulfilled. So in a sense, is this like the uber or ola of trucks i mean would, would that be a fair way of understanding black yeah so so i think that's how it started mm. that it was merely like a matching platform where a trucker could get a load mm. a, you know and, and a shipper could get a truck right mm. but as we kept solving right what was what is really important uh, you know for the trucking ecosystem i mean one thing which is the base of the trucking ecosystem is that 80 90 percent of these guys own like between one and five trucks right mm. And the entire industry is about more unlocking these guys, right? Yeah. So what we realized by year three, year four of building this journey. So we started in 15, now we're in 22. So by 2018, what we realized is that if it is just about aggregation, it is not going to work. Hmm. Right? What was really needed was more rolling up the sleeves 
getting down to the life of these truck owners and unlocking that. By that, what I mean is not only that they need loads which will help them earn more, you know, in their lives, their entire payments, paying to the, you know, driver, receiving money, paying for fueling, paying for tolling, all that had to be like, you know, opened up and organized. Second thing was that they had very little control on truck operations, where the truck is, where is it loading, mm. where is the driver driving right now. So that took us to the entire area of telematics, right? Mm. And fourth was more in the area of like, you know, a, there's a trucker, aspiring trucker has two trucks, wants to buy a third one. There is an owner driver wants to buy another truck, finan credits. financial services to buy a truck, right? Hmm. So basically what started off as a, just an aggregation platform, right? And, uh, you know, and also the revenue from, from just aggregation for us is like, you know, less than 20%, right? Hmm. And 80% of the revenue of the company comes from enabling truckers do business, right? Hmm. So we had to mutate from just, I think when you and I last spoke, we were just an aggregation platform. Yeah, yeah. From there, we had to mutate into a platform which is essentially like driving and championing the need for truckers to get organized, get more efficient, earn more money. To do that, we do loads, we do payments, we do telematics, we do financial services. Mm -hmm. So that's the new avatar of Blackbuck. And, uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what that, that avatar had actually, you know, come in by the time the last round also had happened. And we continue to execute on, on that story and help the truckers of this country, like, get more efficient. Right. Talk